In our previous video about TMDS LCDK138, we went through the hardware and software features of the EVM. Now we will take a look at the board bring up process. Each OMAP L138 LCDK development board comes with one mini AB USB cable, one micro SD card with SD adapter, one power brick and power cord, and a quick start guide for powering up the LCDK and getting the foundational software started. For more details, instructions, refer to MCSDK user guide available on TI.com. To get started with the OMAP L138 LCDK right out of the box, set the DIP switches as shown here. Switch 2, 3 and 4 are set to on. Switches 1, 5, 6, 7 and 8 are set to off. Next, connect the supplied mini USB cable to the UART USB port. Then connect the other end of the cable to a USB port on your host computer. Next, insert the mini SD card to the SD slot located on the bottom of the board. On the host computer, open a serial port terminal and select the connection to USB serial port. Set the baud rate to 115.2 kilobytes per second, 8-bit data, no parity, one stop bit, and no flow control. And finally, plug the included power adapter into the electrical outlet and connect it to the power input on the board. Once the board is powered on, U-Boot messages display on the serial console window. U-Boot will pause for a few seconds before booting Linux, providing an opportunity to stop auto-boot and modify the booting process as shown. If you do not hit enter, U-Boot will proceed to boot Linux. When booting is complete, the terminal displays a Linux login prompt. At this point, Linux is up and running with a complete file system loaded from the SD card, and you are ready to begin developing. For more information about the features and demonstrations available on TMDS LCDK138, or to purchase one for your own development, visit ti.com/tool/tmdslcdk138. Thanks for watching.